Hey, good morning, everybody. Sharon here. How's everybody doing today? It is Wednesday morning, uh, around 9.45 a.m. I've been out and about, you know, on the clock, making a few dollars here, and got a little hungry, so I decided to stop by the grocery store and see if I can find something healthy to eat. I already had some uh, blackberries that I've been nibbling on this morning, but yeah, I needed something else, a little bit more filling. So, while I was in the market, I found these uh, bruschetta teenies, bruschetta teenies, I guess that's how you say it, um, garlic and parsley flavored. Um, so I was reading the back. I noticed that they are vegan, so that's a plus. So I'm going to give these guys a try. Yes, yeah, some bruschetta teen teenies. I picked up some roasted red pepper hummus. That's like one of my favorite ones. I was looking for one a little bit with some spice in it, but I didn't find, so that's what I'm going for today. Then I purchased two of these kombuchas. Have you guys ever tried kombuchas? They're really good. They're healthy. They're good for you. Have a lot of good nutrients in it. Um, I got the cosmic cranberry flavor. And I also picked up the golden pineapple. It gives me the vibe of a soda. You know, I don't drink soda anymore. So the fizz in it, the fermented with the fizz, I like that. I also found some new field roast plant-based sausages this one is an italian garlic and fennel um i'm gonna try to mix this maybe with some onions and peppers maybe over some rice or with some red sauce and pasta you know i can be a little creative with these um they look good if you can see what i see here the uh, seasonings in the casings so field roast does a really nice job with uh you know, bring in their plant base um, with some nice flavors. They do a really good job with that. And then I also found these little ones. These are going to be used for breakfast in the mornings. This is an apple maple flavored ones. So I'll probably either throw these in the air fryer or um, sometimes I just put them on a cooking sheet and pop them in the oven with a little bit of either grapeseed oil or olive oil more than likely grapeseed because you really shouldn't heat um, olive oil to a high heat. That's not a high heat burning oil. But yeah, so again, I just uh, was out and about feeling a little hungry, found myself something healthy to snack on while out here in these streets. And I thought I would just uh, pop in and share these things with you and uh, yeah, get back to my day. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. It's beautiful here in Baltimore. It's about, uh, I'm going to say about 75 degrees or so. It hasn't reached its high, but it's awesome. And we have no cicadas. We had a really big rainstorm on Monday night. I mean, when I tell you it came down, it came down. And yesterday there was a few, but this morning there's none. The temperature went down to about 60 62 degrees or so so i think after 65 and below that kind of take them out so yeah they have come they conquered they came to do what it is that they do do you guys know what the purpose of a cicada is uh well if not let me share with you a cicada comes well let me start with below ground cicadas are underground for 17 years they're underground for 17 years aerating our soil meaning they're underground and they're just turning the soil turning the soil so that we can have these beautiful trees the grass you know mother nature they work together hand in hand with mother nature so that we can have the greenery that we have every year so um yeah so they're down there for 17 years aerating the soil they come back above ground 17 years to the date um they mate they have the babies and when you look at the trees and you see these little knots on the trees that's actually the baby eggs on the tree so when it's time for the tree the tree for the uh cicada to be born birthed what it does is it drops back to the ground and it begins to eat its way back down into the soil for 17 years and it just continuously repeat that cycle over and over and over again and it's been doing that for since the beginning of time you know how amazing is that God did not leave no stone unturned he thought of everything for us so I don't know if you are a believer but I'm here to say I am 
And what an awesome God he is, man. He thought of everything, everything for us, you know. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to get off this uh, camera. I'm going to go ahead and have me some snacks, drink me a kombucha, and get back to my day. So with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Be blessed, and uh, until we talk again, bye-bye.